Hi, I'm Jim Mann with Homestyle Southern Cooking. Welcome back. It's good to be with you again. With the holidays upon us, we all start thinking about special holiday foods as turkeys and ham and everything. I'm going to show you how I make my pan turkey stuffing today. Um, it's a combination of things that I use. Uh, I'm, you might have your own recipe, but I'm going to show you how I make mine. One of the first things I'm going to do is I have a small skillet of it. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to put just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in. I'm going to turn my unit on. I'm going to add to that, I've got about, about a half a cup of chopped celery. I'm going to pour that in there. And then I've got about almost a cup of chopped onions. I'm going to pour that in there, and I'm going to let them start cooking a little bit, softening up a little bit while we're talking. Okay. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, last night I cooked some cornbread because I wanted to be sort of stale a little bit, so I cooked some cornbread. Uh, and if you're wondering about the cornbread, I, I showed you how to make cornbread in another recipe. So anyhow, I'm, going to just, I'm just going to take my knife and I'm going to start cutting this cornbread out of here. Pick it up, and I'm just going to start crumbling it in my pan. This is it's kind of like your filler, so it can be really crumbled up, and you really want it kind of crumbled up. So um, I'm going to crumble this all up really good. Some people like to stuff their turkey uh, with this dressing, and you can do that also. Um, I've always done both when I do it for the holidays. I always make a pan a dressing, and I always make one for the for the turkey. Um, my kids one liked one 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 the, one the other. So, but anyhow, there's my cornbread. I've got my cornbread. Let me set this aside. I got my cornbread all sort of broken up in here in little pieces. Next, what I'm going to do is I've got my cutting board right here, and last night also, I cut up, I mean, I toasted about 12 slices of bread. I did that last night so this can get a little stale also, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to cut this up. i set this so you can see what I'm doing. And we'll cut this into little squares, and I'm going to add this to it. Okay, I tell you what, why don't you let me get all this bread cut up and add it to the bowl, and then I'll get back to you and you can see what I'm doing. I'll be right back. Okay, I've just finished cutting up the last pieces of bread, and I'll put them in my bowl here. Okay, now I can set that aside. Then I just want to sort of toss it a little bit with my cornbread and my crumbs and get them all mixed together here. Okay. What I do sometimes is I find, try to find a bag of seasoned croutons that are just seasoned. They're not European, they're not garlic, they're just seasoned crout croutons. And I put a few of those in there also. That adds extra season to it. Then I'm going to add, I've got uh, some poultry seasoning here. I'm going to add two teaspoons of poultry seasoning. To that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of sage. Oh, I love the smell of sage. Okay, to that I'm going to add rosemary. Now I'll probably only, only add like a half a teaspoon of rosemary. But the rosemary gives it a really, really good flavor. And of course I always put my pepper. And 
and my salt. Once again, this is kosher salt, um, which, which I like to use, okay? Now, I'm going to go back over here to my, my celeries and onion. And if you can see, these are really beginning to brown up. I can really, oh, this one's good. I'm, I can go ahead and put them, actually put them into my mixture right now. Okay, let me turn this eye off. Okay, so I can sort of mix this around just a little bit, bring it all together, the, the cornbread, the, the croutons, the toast. Oh, this just smells, smells divine. We haven't even finished yet. So now I cooked, we can't buy sausage here and, and like we do in the States. So I got sausage link and I cut up a fried and cut up a package of sausage links. So I'm going to put the sausage links in here also. I'm going to stir those all up also with it. This is going to be really good. I mean, this <laughs> probably not the healthiest meal by itself, but I could sit and just eat, eat stuffing by itself, okay? And then I've got about, I've got one apple that has been chopped up. I put the apple in there. The apple really adds that special flavor to it. A lot of times in the olden days, back in the 40s and 50s, if they didn't have anything else, they would tur take a turkey and just stuff the turkey with like two apples in inside. And the apple would give it such a wonderful flavor. So that's why I like to put apple back into this, okay? Okay. Let me stir this around. I'll be right back to you. Okay, I've got this all stirred around. I'm going to add my last ingredients. I've got about a cup of chopped pecans. So how could this be bad with sausage, with celery, onions, pecans, cornbread, apple? Mm, mm, mm. And then I will take over that and I've got, I got a stick of butter. I'm going to pour the stick of butter over top of this. Now, if I had the turkey here and I had cooked the turkey first, I would take the, the turkey parts, like the liver and everything, and I would boil them to make me a base, water base for my, for my dressing. But I don't have that, so what I went and got, Campbell's has a turkey, um, turkey gravy. So I'm going to put one whole can of turkey gravy in here and see if that's enough. If not, I'll have to add another one. Oh, one of these days, it'll be half time long gone, but they'll have smell-o-vision, and that's going to be wonderful because you'll be able to see it and smell it also. I wish you could smell this. This is just, it just smells so really good. I'm going to probably have to go ahead and use that other can because it's still pretty dry. And if I need, need the extra, I can add a little bit of water to it. But you want to make sure this is all gets mixed around it all gets a little bit of gravy on it wow it's just incredible the smell of the celery the onion and all of it together it's just fabulous all right Okay, I'm going to set this aside and get my, my pan here. I'm going to spray my pan, and I've got it in this pan because uh, I'm going to take this somewhere tonight for a dinner. So this is what I'm going to take with me tonight. So that's why I've got it, I'm cooking in this pan. So, um, Let me, let me set this aside, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've got this pretty well mixed together now. If it feels like it's a little dry, you can, like I said, you can add water. But I think this is just about right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now turn this over, and I'm going to put it into my pan. So 
sometimes I have used mushrooms in it also, uh, which gives it a, another unique flavor. Um, but I decided not to this today. But you really need to put the apple in there and the pecans. The apple and the pecans makes such a huge difference. Now we'll push this down in my pan. I've got my oven set on 350, 360. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cover this with Reynolds Wrap uh, after I get it pressed down. I'm going to cover it with Reynolds Wrap and I'm going to bake it for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes, I'm going to take it off and let it get brown. But for the first 20 minutes, it'll be covered with Reynolds Wrap. Push it down the middle here and get it all, all put in here. My goodness. Like I said, I wish you could see this. I wish you could smell it. It's just, mm. Okay, let me get my Reynolds wrap here. Put this over top of this. All right, like I said, my oven's about 350, 360, 365, somewhere around that. I'm going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to take, take it out, take the foil off, and put it back in for 10. So I'll see you in just a few minutes. Welcome back. Okay, as I told you, I put it in the oven for, for 30 minutes in total. I put it for the first 20 minutes, and I have it covered in foil. Then after 20 minutes, I took the foil off. And it's been there 10 minutes now. So uh, I'm going to take it out. The reason why you take it out uh, and cook another 10 minutes, it gives it a chance to get brown on the top. So, oh my goodness, this is, this is beautiful. And you can smell it. I don't know whether you can see this or not, but that's really... Mmm. It smells incredible with the apples and the sausage and the pecans and the onions and all the different things. So I'm going to cut a small corner out of here. Even though I'm taking it somewhere so you can see what it looks like inside. Another thing I, uh, I thought about, uh, my grandmother used to do it a lot. You could take the stuffing, if you wanted to, and grease a muffin tin. And you could put this in a muffin tin and make little croquettes if you wanted to. Ooh, it is so hot. Ooh, you can see the steam coming off this. It's really, really warm. Okay. There we go. And there is your homemade stuffing with apples and sausage and pecans and onions and just all sorts of goodies. So I hope that'll help you with the holidays coming up. Like I said, you can stuff it in the turkey, do it in a pan, or you can do a little croquettes, like I said, in, in a muffin pan. Thank you so much for inviting me back in again. I'm on Facebook. If you would like me on Facebook, if you like this recipe, I've gotten so many pictures of people, so many people that have sent me pictures of recipes that they have actually tried and sent me copies of it and said they're fantastic. One woman said that her husband never has cooked in his life. He made the fudge one time and he's been making the fudge once a week. So uh, I hope you're enjoying this. Thank you for letting me come back into your home again. Until next time, this is Jim Man in Mexico saying, take care of yourself and God bless.